having a baby, my baby and me. You're a wonderful man. Just when I think I can't love you anymore, I do. Do you remember when our horizons were limitless? Hmm. When we thought we could do anything? Who says we can't? What? You're right. Of course I am. I want us to have a child, though. We just forget I said anything. Hey, hey, you just caught me off guard. That's well, all. not I such mean, a strange idea, is it? Strange? No, no. Unexpected, yeah. I, <laughs> we haven't even talked anything about babies since that night that Nimrod and Asa we bugging you about giving him an heir. Yeah, I remember that night vividly. We haven't exactly had a lot of time to discuss it since then, have we? Uh, well... Are you serious? I'd be serious about catching up, yeah. But about the baby part, I... I don't know. Mm -mm. Why'd you say it? I don't know. I just... Just felt like the, the right thing to... to say or to do? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Maybe a... rogue impulse or something. Maybe not. Well, what's that supposed to mean? That maybe there might be another problem. You know what? Let's reason. not even talk well, about no, it anymore. Maybe something I did. You? Something I said. What were you? Well, honey, in the past couple of months, I mean, it's been real rough. Maybe you're afraid that, uh, that I don't love you anymore reason in the world to have a baby. Well, a, a lot of people think that the, it's a great way to save a marriage. Save a marriage? I thought our marriage was just fine. Or, I mean, well, so I thought. Well, I think so, too. Well, then why, what are you, why are you bringing all of this up? I, I'm just checking. <laughs> what, now I'm supposed to be in the mood? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have to do a hell of a lot better than that. I love you, Red. Don't you ever doubt that. Keep going. Are you still on the pill? Well, this is a sexy conversation. No, okay, forget it. No, I'm sorry. Stupid thing I say. I just can't see myself out there tossing a football around with him when he's like, what, 16 years old? How do you know it could be a he? You know, maybe we'd have our own female tennis star. Yeah, or mud wrestler. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked here. That might not be an accident. Meaning? Meaning maybe we're both stalling because we're not quite sure we're ready. Are you still... Uh, you sure you could still, you know... Would get pregnant? Yeah. Because I'm perimenopausal? Um. I don't know. But I sure like to give it a shot. Still in the mood? I'll take that as a yes. going to uh, fax the results over to Josie Conklin, Dr. Josie Conklin at the uh, Landview Hospital, and so I expect to hear some things today. Okay. I'll cancel my meetings and just keep you company till you hear from the doc. Thanks. Let's see. We can just sort of hang and watch some TV and then maybe check out the bedroom and get something to eat and check out the bedroom and then we could, like, I don't know, maybe rent a movie and then 
Check out the bedroom. Yeah, you're catching on. Yeah. I think we have to talk, too, because I, I told you that I would try to imagine uh, life with a baby in it. Yeah, but we... Mm, why don't we wait and find out whether we have it to do that? Okay. Did they give you any indication at all? Well, you know, doctors, how cautious they can be. You know, it's the... Well, yeah, blah, 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 and you're pre perimenopausal, so blah, 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 and, you know, the high risk, and the blah, blah, blah. High risk? Yes, carrying the pregnancy to term, it's high risk. Well, we'll, we'll uh, take it one step at a time, okay? Yeah, but first we have to see if we even have any steps to take. Yeah. Exactly. Hello. This is Dr. Josie Conklin. May I speak to Nora Buchanan, please? Yes, just hold on one minute. It's for you. It's the doctor. You're going to be too disappointed if I can't get pregnant, are you? As long as you're in my life, I'll never be disappointed. Mrs. Buchanan, Dr. Conklin will see you now. The doctor will be right with you. I love you, Red. No matter what we hear, that's not going to change. Welcome back, Norma. Hi. Uh, this is my husband, Bo Buchanan. Oh, how do you do? Josie Conklin. Well, I know how difficult the waiting is, so I'm not going to prolong the suspense. Thank you. The test results are clear. If you want a baby, you can have one. Could you, could you repeat that? It's possible for your wife to conceive. Hey, what? You hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come here, Red. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you this happy in months. I didn't realize how much I wanted to be able to conceive a child until I thought that somebody might be able to tell me that I couldn't conceive a child. So you feel better now? Yes. Well, this might be a good time to give you my bill. Oh, <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that in a doctor's office. <laughs> I'm, uh, are we sure the report's accurate? I'm sure. Okay. So I can do my spiel and... You can pay me. <laughs> <laughs> now, pregnancy carries particular risks for women over 35. And I don't want to get into the dire possibilities. We can cover all that later. It's just that, Nora, I want you to realize that this pregnancy is not going to be the same as when you carried Rachel some 20-something years ago. Mm -hmm. So if you decide that you want to go ahead, there are things we have to discuss. Well, what about the time frame? I mean, um, do I have to get pregnant this afternoon? <laughs> it's hard to say. The clock is running. Every day that you wait, your chances decrease. So if you decide that you want to go ahead, well, then I would suggest that you begin charting your cycle very closely. Even though we're only speaking hypothetically. Well, um... Hypothetically speaking, is there anything that I could do uh, other than wear boxer shorts or avoid hot baths? <laughs> As a matter of fact, there is. Oh. Yeah, I want to get a sample from you. Sample? Yeah, I'd like to run a semen analysis. A sperm test. And I wouldn't anticipate any problems, and neither should you. It's just that I do a sperm analysis, just so, so that I can check sperm count, motility, morphology. Okay, 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 I get the picture, okay. It's a very simple test. I give you a cup, you give me a semen sample. I get the picture, yeah. <laughs> it's entirely up to you, but I do recommend it. Mm. You don't have to do it, Dom. It's, I don't want you to... As long as you're okay with it, I just no, don't I just, want you to be under any pressure. I just... No, no, I don't want you. To, I don't want you to feel any pressure. It's not. It's you know. It's really. 
I mean, because I just because I went through days and days of grueling invasive tests, I don't want you to feel any pressure whatsoever. Do you, can you say hysterosalpingogram? Yeah, I could say that. I prefer not to. Well, it's, just, it's hard to say, but you know what's really hard? Going through those tests, you know, because first they take this long right. thing and then. All right, all right, all right. Give me the, um, give me a cup. Boy, I feel like one of those guys that hangs on a trench coat in the back of a movie theater. It's going to be a very nice room, and I'm sure that they have very nice magazines and some lovely videos at your disposal. I used to raid places <laughs> like that very nice room. Besides, what do I need with a magazine or video or anything? I got the most beautiful woman in the world standing right there in front of me, smiling like she hasn't smiled in, like, months. Maybe, maybe the good doctor will let us go someplace a little less clinical. Yeah? Yeah. Like the privacy of our very own bedroom. Let's go check it out. Um, you know, I'm grateful that, um, that Dr. Conklin said that we could, um, get your sample here at the house, you know? Oh, yeah, you and me both. But we just have to remember to, to take your sample back over there within the hour, you know? I mean... Yeah. Bo, are you okay with this? Yeah, okay. Sure. You know, I just, uh, I'd rather make love to my wife without an ulterior motive. It's love. Even with the ulterior motive. I know. Come on. <laughs> Coffee's ready. Why don't you have a cup and uh, come jogging with me? Are you nuts? I mean, I'm 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 exhausted from a, a very pleasant but very active night, aren't you? No, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not tired at all. In fact, it kind of gave me a boost. Well, you didn't need a boost. I can testify. I guess the idea of having this baby makes me think I can do just about anything. Mm, I can testify to that too. <laughs> Maybe we uh, started our own little masterpiece last night, huh? Yeah, you, you honestly, I, with all the cooing and coddling and overprotecting that this kid's going to get, it's not going to stay a masterpiece for long, you know? I mean, do you really think that we're parenting material, you know, now that we know better, or should? I think whatever we don't know, we're going to learn on the job. I mean, that's just so neurotic. Yeah, tell me. Thank you. Look, our kid is going to be fine, okay? He's going to be very well adjusted. Well... If he's well adjusted, then, then who will she play with? Because do we know any well adjusted people? Any at all? Yeah. Okay. I decided to run a little test of my own in case we really go ahead with Project Baby. Well, if you want a baby, we'll do a baby. Even if you have to put up with nine months of this? <laughs> also, you have to understand that the picture wouldn't be complete without varicose veins and stretch marks. What do you think? Beautiful. I knew a woman who had twins. She couldn't brush her teeth without falling over into the sink. <laughs> and, and I'll have to pee all the time. We wouldn't be able to go to a movie. It'd be up, down, up, down. I'd miss the whole show. And mood swings? Woo! I'd be crying over nothing. Yeah, I remember how you mourned over that little fish that you caught. Is that thing still in the freezer? It would be worse. Much worse. It would be much better. And then there's Lamala's classes, of course. Of course. And you'd be right there with me, sweating and straining all along. Absolutely. And then, our baby. Here's the biggie. Have you ever changed a diaper? Uh, actually, n no. Oh, all those joys you missed out on with Drew. Huh? Well, here. Hold your little tight. Take a whiff. It's loaded. Wait, do you mean... Oh, you wouldn't believe the amount of gunk that can come out of a cherubic little baby. Do you like origami? Are you good at it? Here's the diapering. See? It's, uh, better yet, the acid test. Diaper the baby. 
Couldn't we just turn him loose bare bottom out there in the backyard? I'm gonna see you diaper that baby or else all bets are off. Okay. Oh, that's probably the pizza that I ordered while you were out. Oh, by the way, if it's a boy and it's darker as lying there, don't put your head too close over it because you'll be um, in for a surprise. 